What's up? We are here at Lake and Wood Campground in Narvon, PA. Now we actually got here last night, but due to some high winds and actually super cold temperatures, we knew we weren't gonna make a fire due to the winds and it was too cold to hang out outside without a fire. So we made a cheese board and hung out inside watching alone. Um, we will say the check-in process was super easy. We just kind of cruised out. They asked for our last name. They brought us out a welcome packet and then just sent us on our way to our campsite. But we're really happy with this site. It's nice weather despite how cold it was last night. Today is much warmer. So we're gonna, we're gonna kinda explore the campground. We're gonna take out our bikes. We may go to the indoor pool and they do have free golf later, but we'll see how we're feeling. All right, we have a lot to do today, so let's get going. According to their website, Lake and Wood is home to the gnomes. And while we didn't see any gnomes as we rode around the park, we did see a beautifully maintained and clean campground with nice green fields and nice paved roads for biking. With views like this, it's easy to see why this is a highly rated and highly recommended campground in Pennsylvania. Tori and I are on our way to do some miniature golfing. They have a deal today between 2 and 4 p.m. It's free. Free. Can't argue free. Yeah, we're about to go see who the real happy Gilmore is, as Tori says. Yeah. So. I think it's gonna be big. Yeah, we'll see. That's all you got there? I just gotta go in. Just grab it. Sweet. I mean, I asked the girl, I didn't just like steal it and run. Maybe you did. Off these, uh, Those are the longest ones they had. No. Uh. What is that? A one? That's a four. Okay. 14, 16, 18, and then 23. All right. So you're 23. Okay. Five plus seven is twelve. Fourteen. Seventeen. Twenty. Twenty-two. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. So I win because I have the highest score. I don't think it works that way. No, you won. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty nice little, but yeah, be, be cognizant of number nine. Number nine. Number nine's tough. It's the devil devil's uh, playground right there. Yeah. Back at the campsite after some serious guilt trips, we decided we couldn't be the only ones having all the fun. So we decided to take Mac and Dee for a nice long walk around the park. As you can see, they loved exploring the campground and I think we got four paws up on this one. After working up a sweat, it was time to hit the indoor pool. During the non-peak season, the indoor pool is open 11 a.m. seven days a week, which is a really nice change of pace from other campgrounds with pools that are only open on weekends during the non-peak season. In addition to the heated pool, there is a hot tub for patrons 18 and over, and a nice bathroom with hot showers. After an extremely busy day and some extremely delicious burgers, it was time to kick back at the campsite and enjoy our first campfire of 2021 as our second night at Lake and Wood drew to a close. Delicious. 
So it's our last morning here. We just took our e-bikes down here to the uh, little lake pond, whatever you want to call it. It's all ours right now, so might, might as well take advantage. Yeah, so it's our last morning here. We kind of want to give a recap now that we experienced the whole weekend. We came out on a Friday, April 30th, and we're leaving May 2nd, which is a Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, nice campground overall. I mean, cost-wise, uh, for us, it's around 77 a night. Yeah, and this is a pre-season weekend. It's a pre-season weekend. Yeah, so, so I think the prices up. will be a little bit higher in the summer. As always, check their website, but this is the price that we paid, $77 a night. Yep. So not too bad for all the amenities that you have. Um, very, very interesting place, very unique place. The one thing I will say though is we booked our site months ahead. And if you want to keep your site guaranteed, you have to pay a $20 fee. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of places are starting to do that. I've never really agreed with that. If you book it, you should have it. Right. Um, but we did luck out and we still got our site without paying that. We never paid. Yeah, we did. I was like, I'm just going to roll the dice. We get what we get. And we actually got the site that I requested in the first yeah. place. So it works out. A ton of things to do, especially if you have kids. So one of the nice things about doing this in the preseason is we were able to use the indoor pool yesterday, which was pretty warm. I'm not going to say super warm. Yeah, I mean, inside the building itself, it was, you walk in, you're like, Poof, it, you're yeah. kind of taken back about how <laughs> hot it was. Um, so I was like, yes. Yeah, Tori loved it. It was hot and humid. But then the water itself was a little. I've, I don't think I've ever been in a pool with so much chlorine in my life. I'm still pretty itchy. We did like rinse off afterwards, but just be aware if you're sensitive to chlorine, they use a lot of it. Yeah. The only bummer was the hot tub was closed, I guess, due to COVID restrictions. Right. Uh, so that would have been nice. Tori and I, we don't have kids, so it's nice to come in here, maybe be away from all the splashing kids in the pool. But, uh, cannonballs too. Yeah, all the cannonballs <laughs> and everything else. So. The nice thing too is then when summer does hit, what they do is there's like a partition between the indoor pool and the outdoor pool and they lift that up and it all becomes one big super pool. Yep. Uh, so if you're a little sensitive to the sun, you could always go to the indoor section of the pool. Yeah, who doesn't like a super pool? And uh, <laughs> it's it's attached to, uh, what's the name of the place? The, uh, the Gnome? The Gnome Cafe. Gnome Cafe, yeah. yeah. We didn't eat at the Gnome Cafe, but we did pop in. It looked really cute. Uh, it looks like they have burgers, fries, that sort of thing. French toast, that kind of stuff Ooh. for the breakfast, breakfast sandwiches, yeah. Ah. Bon appetit, compliments to the chef. Uh, but they have other menus too, like we play miniature golf and... Yeah, we actually got to play for free yesterday, which was cool, but normally it's like $2, so... Two bucks a person, yeah. yeah. So keep an eye on like their Facebook and social media, mm -hmm. especially if you're here on the weekends. They seem to only really have those promotions on the weekends, but on Saturday between the hours of two and four, this specific Saturday, it was free. So keep an eye, because you can actually do a lot of activities for... Uh, not really anything additional. Which, uh, what else do they have going on? Can, ceramic painting? Candy bar bingo. Candy so bar bingo. The buy-in is you bring one candy bar per card. Yes. We did not do that because, because I can easily just buy some candy. Right, if I, I mean, it's, bingo. <laughs> but if, if you have kids, it would probably be pretty exciting. Or if, if you tie on quite a bit of whiskey and I don't crave, think they'll let you go to candy you're bar crave, bingo. You're craving a <laughs> Snickers, but all you got in your pocket is a, a crackle. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the way to go. Buy like a subpar candy bar. Yeah. And then win like a good one. Although there's a chance you could win your crackle back. That's true. But overall, it's a pretty fun park. Yeah, um, it's very well maintained, very clean. The campsites are nice. They're pretty level. We only had a level front to back. It yep. was a bit of a slope, but side to side, we were pretty good. Yeah, it was about a foot slope. It was, okay. <laughs> it was, more, it was more than a slight. But, but side to side, side to side, was we solid. were good. And there's a little bit of privacy between most sites. Uh, uh, the only thing that was a little nerve wracking the night we came in. It was very, very windy, like up to 50 miles. Yeah, 60 we had mile a wind advisory. Um, so just sitting out in my chair, looking up at all the trees. <laughs> You know, maybe because I work in risk management, you know, it makes me a little nervous, but uh, I like the privacy aspect of it. Yeah, the trees are nice. I, li I like too, they have like a mix, like they have like some really unique looking places, not just like cabins. Mm -hmm. Like they have a TP, they have like a place you can say it looks like a train. Um, covered wagon. A covered wagon. There's, there's a yurt actually over here on the lake. Yeah, there's a yurt right over to our left, which is really cool. Even if you don't have a camper, you can either tent camp here. There's a tent camping section. Yep. Uh, it's really nice too. It's kind of intermixed, but it's kind of off on its own. Yep. Really nice little sites. Um, or you can rent one of those locations. So You can actually rent a regular cabin too. There's some yeah. regular bigger cabins that aren't as themed. So maybe if you have like a bigger family affair or something like that. Yeah, or you, you just don't want to sleep in a choo-choo train. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Dog friendly, very dog friendly. Yeah. A lot of locations, a lot of dumpsters and trash cans around. And that kind of keeps it, you know, clean as well, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, uh, when we were walking the dogs yesterday, 
plenty of places to, you know, put the waste bags so mm -hmm. you didn't have to carry a bag of poop around. Oh, and there's, uh, not llamas, what are they? Goats. The goats, <laughs> yeah. Cool there's llamas. But yeah, there's goats. The dogs uh, didn't notice it right away. They did not notice it, and then when they did, they did. Yeah, we had to take them away from the goats. <laughs> um, but yeah, nice little shop. They have mm -hmm. uh, an arcade. Uh, they have uh, Hershey's ice cream. Not our favorite. No, not our favorite. But fun fact, it's not related to the Hershey's that we all know. It's a different Hershey's. Yes, in the town of now Hershey, PA, there were two guys with the last name of Hershey. One started the whole candy company, and then the other started the ice cream business. But they're not the same company. Yeah. So the guy who started the candy bar company, high five, ice cream guy. Nice try. Nice try. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, overall, I mean, we, we like the campsite. Something. It's our second time back, so obviously we don't dislike it. Yeah, um, I think it's a very good, here's my recommendation. I think it's a very good spring and fall campground because of that indoor pool. To play devil's advocate too, because it's so shaded, it can be plausible. In the it's true, too. yeah. We Last time we came in June and it was not, it did not feel too hot. Overall, I'd say it's, it's a win. Yeah. Um, so take it as, as you will with the information that we gave you. Yeah, um, but I think it's a great first trip out. I'm excited yeah. to get the camper out. This is the earliest we've ever been camping. It's April, it's the yep. end of April and we're out camping and we loved it. Yeah, keep on checking us out. Like, subscribe, do whatever you do. Yeah. <laughs> do whatever you do. Um, leave a comment down below if you've been here and what your experiences have been. Yep, or if you have any questions about the campsite, you know, leave us a question. We'll try to answer them the best that we can. Thanks for yeah. coming out with us. Uh, we had a great time. We're going to go get packed up, get the dogs, and we're mm -hmm. going to head home, get cozy, get a bottle of wine or something. Maybe, oh. maybe a pizza. We already have pizza. Oh, uh, we already have pizza. Get a fresh pizza. Get a fresh pizza. Anyways, thank you guys for coming along, and we'll see you next week.